Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2 litre EST automatic. It's a 62 plate car, the last of the shape actually, uh, with just 47,000 miles on the clock and with a wonderful service history, all of which has been done by Honda, apart from the very last one, which we've just done. Uh, it is a lovely looking car. Red suits this car perfectly. It's always been good on this car. Um, right, go around the car for you. Front of the car, nice and clean. Lights and lenses are clear and intact there. Front bumper, very clean. As is the bonnet, which hardly shows a stone chip, but there will be the odd microscopic one, quite clearly. Near side, passenger side, lovely and smooth in the panel work no obvious indentations that i can see although i did see a microscopic one so i'm going to try and find it so i say that and immediately retract it uh, near side front alloy really good and panels really really nice near side rear alloy again lovely i'm just looking oh i just about i mean it's, it's almost impossible so i'm trying to see it's a tiniest little half the size of your finger little fingernail it's um on these things where I can. Back of the car, very nice. The odd little stone chip's been touched in over the years, which you're naturally going to expect on a 10 year old car, but nothing uh, that isn't in keeping with it because it is lovely. Offside rear alloy, absolutely spot on. Remaining panels, really nice. Fine alloy again, unblemished, and it is in lovely condition. The odd, as I said, the odd, tiny little mark, um, but lovely, absolutely lovely. It's coming to the back of the car, absolutely enormous boot, and it's been kept unbelievably well because CRVs are normally very heavily used in the back. It's coming to the back now, absolutely enormous amounts of legroom, half leather interior with Alcantara. And that is in absolutely stunning condition for, again, what is essentially you know, sort of a people carrier as such. So they're normally much, much, much more heavily used on seats. Just coming to the front on the passenger side. Again, passenger seat there, hardly been used at all. Finally, coming in on the driver's side. Again, door card, very nice. Footwood area, lovely and clean. And driver's seat again in really good condition. The only wear you get, and it's not really wear, it's just natural, you get compression here as your backside slides in and out. That's exactly how it's meant to be. Inside the car now, engine's running as I always do, so the dashboard can be seen illuminated. Dashboard just looks almost like new, incredibly clean. Um, sat now, you can see, working perfectly. So shaky hands this morning, there we go up to dash binnacle 47,592 miles and there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all whilst the engine's running here finally just to show you owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key all here and present with the car right then this is a quick road test video and this is for a honda crv 2 litre est automatic uh, car is registered KU62LGO and with a mileage of only 47,585 recorded. The reason we do all of our videos and especially the rotor section is to ensure that if anyone's looking at any of our cars online, they actually get to see the car advertising and operation. Reason being that like far too many people out there we've been to see cars which have looked absolutely fine in photographs and description uh, but only to get there and find out there's an obvious fault that shows up uh, whilst driving the car so hence that's why we do it um, we also do it on these very quiet country roads in this simply lovely part of Gloucestershire and this actually forms part of the road test route we take our customers on and the hope is then it'll be representative of what you feel yourself should you be off to test drive in the car so coming to the car, as you'll know from the walk around video and the advert itself, it's been an extraordinarily well looked after car. Every single service, right up to the one we've just done, was done by the Honda main dealers. And it shows immediately, as soon as you get in the car, some cars get in and they can drive fine, but they just feel a little bit older, a little bit tired maybe. Um, this just feels as tight as a drum in every single way. Um, so if you don't want to be bored for the next 
eight minutes or so uh, you can turn off now because it, it's just drives perfectly um, but for those who want to persist uh, engine starts instantly and settles to a completely smooth even idle there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car and temperature gauge is running at a third which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda vehicle um, these are brilliant engines as I always say I mean, Honda build the best four-cylinder engines in the world and, and it's for a number of reasons um, most people know they are incredibly reliable the most reliable engine is classed by country mile um, but also incredibly long-lasting uh, with normal regular servicing they can last enormous mileages um, but that's only half of it because they're also a lovely engine to use day in day out it's quiet it's smooth it's refined you know when you do push it although the engine picks up noise the noise it makes is sweet engine mechanical refinement it's just beautifully engineered um, they are cam chain driven by the way so no cam belts to worry about on them at all so no major major service looming on them um, engine then feeds through into the auto gearbox um, again like the engine has a reputation for being you know very long lasting and reliable we've never ever touched one um, and the, the gear changes on the move are beautifully judged very smooth very slick um, to the point you can hardly feel them I and mean, i've changed gear twice as i've just been saying that sentence and you just literally you just can't feel it it's incredibly smooth um, notwithstanding reputation uh, you should always do the same checks with any auto box just make sure that the gear changes are smooth which they clearly are but also when you're stationary in particular when you select drive or reverse there shouldn't be any clunks that thump you in the back or, um, or you know heavy mechanical noises when it engages um, and in every respect absolutely perfect so coming to the steering of the car um, which tracks dead straight there's no vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit it's also a really good power steering system um, helped by the fact that Honda know this market so well the CRV is the best selling SUV in the world or has been um, and it's easy to see why because when you jump in the car it is very very car like to drive it doesn't feel like a big clumsy cumbersome tall vehicle quite the opposite it just it's really well um, planted on the road and the steering helps with that because it's um, got a low power steering it's you know very light at you know not sort of light easy to maneuver i should say it's a low speed there's no effort at all um what it makes it feel is solid and heavy almost on the road it's got a really satisfying feeling that makes it very confidence inspiring um it's also you know without saying it's sporty because it is not um it's, it's precise it's accurate and it works beautifully with the chassis um because the chassis gives you this very comfortable ride um, beautifully judged very supple the damping's fantastic on it um, but when you go through corners unlike some cars it doesn't kind of sort of lurch into them with those sort of secondary motions which as a driver it's fine because you're kind of anticipating them um, but as a passenger particularly rear seat passengers who may not be concentrating it can be really disconcerting and rather nauseating you know so some cars can be very soft and feel really great on test drives you know very compliant and you know float along but it's only when you get through a few corners you start to realize you know comfort is a very subjective thing um, and passengers may well sort of bemoan your decision um, <clears throat> also talking about suspension this surface of the road is absolutely hor this section of road sorry is horrible it's like the surface of the moon um, and that rides it brilliantly by the way but it's also I'm just listing out for any kind of mechanical clonks or rattles from underneath the car and there's absolutely nothing at all it's solid as a rock and um, I'm gonna give the brakes a good shove make sure it's directly behind me really nice powerful brake pedal on the car and um, what I'm looking for in particular on an automatic car is for sort of pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal and there's absolutely nothing at all on it and the reason for that is that um, with automatics the brakes do more of the work basically or generally speaking at least anyway um, finally to come inside the car the first thing you're greeted by is the build quality these are brilliantly put together cars uh, it may well be 12 years old with a low mileage but it's still a 10 sorry 10 years old uh, 
that there's no squeaks, no rattles. It feels like it's carved out of rock. They are brilliantly, brilliantly made cars. Um, it's also a lovely place to sit. Um, you've got fantastic visibility in the car all round. You've got these massive wing mirrors, which when you're on the open road or um, reversing, are really helpful um, to sort of help you feel very confident in what you're doing. Um, but you've actually got quite a low dash line as well, so you can clearly see the, the bonnet of the car, which is a, a real rarity these days. Um, and the rest of it, when you get inside, I mean, first and foremost, it's literally just arrived, not been cleaned, and it's in just beautiful condition in here. It's been loved, this car. Um, the dash design is just wonderfully simple to operate. Um, being an EST, it's a very rare model, as we said, uh, so it comes with the sat-nav here, which is working perfectly. You've got a dual zone climate control system so you can have different temperatures side to side if you so wish and that's pumping out absolutely ice cold air and it's 23 degrees today so it's, it's having to work for its living. Um, all the buttons as always, all the switch gear has that wonderful quality of actuation that Honda gives you. It's really nice tactile feel. Um, so I'm just going to concentrate to go around this tractor a second. Um, you know, everything just feels very, very well engineered. It really does. And then in front of me, you've got this dash binnacle, just your classic Honda. I love this generation. The dials are just so neat and precise. The detailing, the labeling. You basically look at it, you get the information and carry on driving. Too many modern cars, you look down and think, you squint to try and take in the information because there's so much else going on. Um, but this is unpolluted, it's brilliant. Um, then you've got this lovely um, leather bound steering wheel which shows absolutely no wear on it at all. Uh, finally just to say this is a four wheel drive version of the CRV. Um, you don't do anything in them, it's basically it's completely automated so there's no buttons to press, you don't activate anything. Honda worked out very very quickly when they designed the original CRV that most of its customers would be doing as I am today, driving in perfectly good conditions where you don't need four wheel drive on. Um, so basically the way it works is simple, if your front wheels start to lose grip, um, sort of snow, ice, mud, something like that, um, it instantly brings in the four wheel drive and far more quickly than you could ever do yourself in terms of reaction because it's done via the traction control system of the car. So basically the sensation is you just feel the front wheel start to lose grip and then suddenly you kind of grip and go. Um, it's simply genius um, and the beauty of it is fairly obvious. If you've got a permanent four-wheel drive system, it's literally permanently on. And that means basically you're going to get through your tyres more quickly, um, you're going to use more fuel in the process, and you're going to put more mechanical strain through the car. Um, because of the lack of use with, with this, it's you know incredibly reliable system. We've virtually never ever touched one, you know, they're so, so strong. Um, as I said at the start of the video, you know, this is only a brief video, it's just to show it functioning, but in all honesty, whoever decides to um, part with the money to buy this car, they'll be buying a fabulous car. It really drives exactly as we say, it drives beautifully. As always though, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate, do give us a call.